Hey, what's up my fellow creatives? Adrian Boysell here. Today's video is about passive income strategies for graphic designers. Now in this video, I wanna talk about how passive income will truly make you recession proof. Now, it's not the end all be all, but I do believe that active income is something that you should never stop doing, but it's gotta be on your terms. So imagine having a client that you would never be fired by. How powerful would that be? How liberating would that feel? Well, you are your own client when you actually purchase an asset like that. And it's a really powerful thing that you should consider doing if it's not already in your business. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an inside look at my newest digital asset that I've acquired and show you what I bought it for, show you for how much, and then I wanna show you how much it's making and then how I plan to actually 10X that revenue over the next 12 months and potentially even 30X that revenue over the next 24 months. So the question you're probably asking yourself is, what did I buy? Well, let me go through it with you. And I want to take you through step by step. The first thing that I bought is the asset type. That's the first thing you want to write this down. The asset type that I bought is a website. The second thing that you want to be looking at is what is the niche? Well, for myself in this specific asset, I bought an Enduro motocross apparel website. It had tons of designs, tons of decals, tons of really great stuff going for it. And I'm really excited to take this thing over because I have t-shirt ideas, apparel ideas, hat ideas, all kinds of things that I wanna do. The monetization method of this website is actually a drop shipping website, which means when somebody goes to the website and they order one of our designs, that thing gets sent off to a printer, that printer fulfills it and literally drop ships it right to the front door of the customer. So the next thing is what does this website that I bought look like? Well, I wanna give you guys a quick sneak peek at it. The website is actually called norcalenduro.com. It's a digital asset that I found on a marketplace that I was able to pick up for a really good deal. And I just kind of want to fill you guys in as to what that asset actually came with, just to kind of give you an understanding. When I purchased this, I got the website, I got all of the designs, which is over 150 different designs. I got all of the accounts from the Gmail accounts to the email accounts, to the Shopify accounts, to the Google accounts. I mean, it literally came with everything that I could possibly need. Now, there wasn't a lot of documentation for support, but the person I bought it from is actually a really great guy and he's actually local in my area and he's been super helpful. I also got all the decals and stickers that came along with it that are ordered out. And then the last thing, which is also really, really important to me is the customer base. I have a customer base and revenue that's already come in from that site of people who trust the brand, who like the product, who've tried it before and will probably continue to, to buy it. Now, the next thing that I think is really important for you to understand is fully automated versus not automated. Now, there's a side to this business that is completely automated and completely passive, and that's the sales and the transactions that are going on. I have a whole team behind me, so I want you to understand that the context that I'm coming at this from is I have an entire team behind me running this thing. My partners are doing the social media. I have some of my graphic designers doing the designs of this. I have automated and sent out all of the work the only thing that I'm personally going to be doing myself that's not passive is creating content like this for its own YouTube channel. I'm going to be on my bike, doing dirt bike videos, doing tech reviews. That's just one of the things I'm going to talk about here in a minute. But that's the only thing that's not fully automated. But if I really wanted to, I could hire that out as well. So the last thing I wanted to talk about on this list is actually the age of the website. This is a two year old, a little bit over two year old business that I bought. So I'm not buying something that was a month old, two month old, six months old. This is actually an aged business with an aged domain name that has an established following. And I got this thing for a really great deal. So I'm curious, how much do you think I paid for this digital asset with everything that I listed off that it included the website, e-commerce store, everything. After hearing that, what do you think I paid for this? Comment down below the best guess. I'm just curious. I want to see uh, who has that in this moment, because just in a second, I'm going to tell you exactly how much I paid. So that brings me to the asset price and the profit. So based on everything included in this deal that I listed and I told you above, I could sell this website right now as is for $5,000. And that doesn't include all of the designs, all of the different things that it came with. So this is a really, really great deal to be able to buy a fully built out e-commerce website with everything. Then you take into consideration the actual money that it's making. So on average, since this website's inception, I broke it down month by month. There's been some good months, five, six, seven, eight hundred dollar months, and there's even been some bigger ones than that. But if you were to average it out across the 24 month period, this website is making about three hundred and thirty three dollars a month since its inception. Now, that's not a lot of money, but it covers all of its costs and it was continuing to grow. This website just at the three hundred and thirty three dollars a month 
is worth $12,500 right now as it stands. That's not including the designs. That's not including the website itself. That's just from the revenue that it's making. That's the value of it. So this website's easily worth 15 to maybe even $20,000. Now, the average multiple that I've found in the industry as far as websites and digital assets selling for a multiple um, is about 36 times the monthly revenue. So if you do the math, 30, $333 times 36 over the next period, that means in about 36 months, that's 36 payments, every dollar from that website after 36 months will be profit. That's if I maintain the website with where it's at today. Obviously, I'm gonna be putting a lot of effort into it with my team, my agency is taking it over. And so I'm gonna be thanking my future self for the long-term purchase that I made here. I'm thinking long-term, and this is something you need to be doing if you're buying these digital assets that are passively income generating, is it's a long-term approach. You gotta be looking at a year, two years, three years, or even five years down the road. So the reality is, is that I know in one year from now, I'll be doing about 10X the revenue. So we should be doing about $3,000, $3,500 a month and revenue over the next 12 months. And my goal for the next 24 months is 30 times the revenue. I feel like we could easily be making close to $10,000 a month on this website passively. My designers are doing the designs, my team's doing the SEO, all the things I'm gonna talk about here in a second that are gonna be really important for you to understand what you need to do when you own one of these websites. So the goal is to have a net profit for me by January of 2023. Yes, by January, 2023, I wanna be profiting, have all the costs that I've put, including my marketing, completely paid for. So every dollar we make is all profit other than maybe the hosting of the website and then the cost of the shirts being printed through our vendor. So I'm just curious, what niche are you passionate about that you can see yourself having a site like this? There's so many niches out there Maybe you're a bicyclist, maybe you're a skateboarder, maybe you go skydiving, maybe you're a hiker. There's so many different niches out there. You could do something like this for your own business and whatever your hobby, maybe it's just drawing and design. You could build your own niche site around drawing and design and sell your t-shirt designs and have them completely automated on a drop shipping website. This is something that I think would be really neat. And if you're interested in having something like this, you can always reach out to me. All right, the last piece, and I think this is really important. This is probably what you guys have been waiting the whole video for, is how do I actually grow the traffic? How do I make more money than just the $333 a month? The first thing that I'm gonna do is social ads. Not social media marketing, but social ads. So Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok. These are all great places where I can drive traffic back to the website, to specific products, to specific pages whether it's snapback hats, whatever it is, as we start to release more designs, we're gonna start doing about a new design every week, which is gonna be a lot of designs. You, you know, multiply that across the month and across the year, we're gonna be coming out with a lot of new products, which is something that's really important. Just like here with YouTube, having consistently new products and staying fresh in your store is a really good thing to do. And because I'm not gonna be doing any of these designs, and I say any with an exception that if I have an idea that something that comes to my mind, like I've had the last few weeks on something I'm working on, then I'll probably design something here and there, but it's up to me. I don't have to design anything because I have my team doing it for me. Now, the second thing, and this is a really big deal, and this is an area I have a ton of experience in, is search engine optimization. I went to Ahrefs, I looked through the whole site, I looked through all the keywords, I looked through the industry, and I looked at my competitors to see what were some keywords that I was going to optimize the website for. There is a massive opportunity from competition to the amount of keywords, the amount of traffic. There should be no problem with me optimizing the whole website, optimizing every product, getting out on Google Shopping, all those other things with the search engine optimization. I'm going to bring 10x, if not 20x, the traffic in the next six months to this website, which is automatically gonna increase the revenue just by driving that traffic that is targeted traffic from organic search. All right, another great traffic strategy that I'm going to use is YouTube Shorts. Because I'm doing product reviews, because I have my bike, because I have all these opportunities, I'm going to be doing a lot of YouTube Shorts, creating these and driving traffic from there. I can cross post those and use what I call the content multiplier and post it to TikTok or Instagram or other things like that. But I'm going to be creating these Instagram Shorts or these YouTube Shorts. They're gonna drive traffic back to the website. Again, creating more exposure, building a YouTube channel, potentially even doing some other things in the future. On top of the YouTube Shorts, I will be doing a full-blown YouTube channel with gear and product reviews. I might make some cool videos of the adventures that I'm going out on, some vlog style stuff. I'm gonna mix it up. I'm not just gonna keep it all just product reviews. I want people to see the journey that I'm on of buying my first motorcycle, getting my motorcycle license, buying my first gear, getting my helmets, all that stuff. I wanna document all of this stuff 
And I'm just not work for me. This is just stuff that I enjoy. It's stuff that I love. And this is how it should be for you if you're going to buy your first passive income generating website, because it needs to be something you have a passion in, something that you may be doing on a daily basis. It's just gonna make life much easier. So on top of the product reviews, the next thing that I wanna do is I really like to think local. And so sponsoring local charity events and sponsoring motorcycle groups, youth groups, um, anything, you know, races, anything that's going on in my area, this is a really big deal. I have to give back as part of every business that I buy. That's not a current part of the business model that I took over, but this is something I'm adding into the business. Being able to be a giver and give a portion of my proceeds that I'm making back to local charities, back to local organizations that may be in line with this or maybe have nothing to do with motocross or enduro, but maybe it's a youth organization or maybe it's a veterans organization. I'm going to be sponsoring and bringing a lot of awareness back to the brand through sponsorships of local charities. And that's because I'm really passionate about social impact. All right, so the next one, we're getting towards the end here, is influencers. There's a lot of influencers out there in the motocross space. I've already started reaching out to a few of them. There's a bunch on YouTube. This is a really great way for an iron sharpens iron type of relationship where I can pay them for their audience and then we can both benefit because their audience will get really great products, really cool designs, really cool gear, and then they'll get compensated for that. So that's a really good deal. And that's something I'm gonna be implementing, but a little bit further down the road. And then the last one that I think is really good as far as driving traffic is something I'm so excited about. I was researching last night, but there are tons of local motocross events going on all over my area. I'm gonna be going to every event that I could possibly go to. I do plan on building a booth, having people go out that I'll hire that'll go out to motocross events and rep our gear, shoot videos, you know, sponsor racers, all that fun stuff. So I wanna get involved in the local motocross scene because this is an area, again, that I'm passionate about and it's an easy way for me to just use my passion to make myself and my agency more money because my agency is involved in doing all the work. So they're gonna get a cut of everything that's made from this website. So if you would like to have your own digital asset created or you want my help to acquire one, that's something I actually am really good at doing, I can help you with that. There's gonna be a link down in the description. All you gotta do is click. And if you are approved for that, then you and I can hop on a call, we can get to know each other and I can hear about what your goals are and what type of niche site you may be looking at. So thank you guys so much for watching today. My name is Adrian Boysell. Until the next one, keep looking up.